Morning. Okay. 28th of April 2024. Um, the song is Mr. Blue Skies by Yella. However, it is absolutely pittling it down. So I think they're having a laugh. Um, <clears throat> so it's about um, as within, so without, as above, so below, what you get. Give out is what you get back. Um, it's about thoughts and words, which are spells. You are casting spells, so make sure you keep it positive. We'll see what the um, deck says, whether you're being positive or negative. It's about the person that wears many hats. So that could be somebody that collects hats, somebody that is many things to many different people. It's about um, someone that works with blades, this cup, so we have talked about this many times. It can be anything from an hairdresser to a surgeon, a lumberjack to a joiner, a cashier to somebody that works with a circular saw, a barista to somebody that works with large vats like um, in a brewery. So, it's usually something or someone new in your life. Someone or something that will teach you something, give you the tools you need to um, survive whatever you're going through. That's if it's in the upright. We don't want to think about the negative. Gemini energy is about communications. Mercury. We've just come out of um, Mercury retrograde, haven't we? So let's see. Mr. Blue Skies. Oh, there we are, the helping hand, the little bird footprint, the hand of God, as you want to call it. So look for the bird footprints, the branches on trees that look like an outstretched hand. We've got Aquarius, wishes and dreams. We've got 11th house, so that's a good sign, but it is unknown. The future is unknown. So don't dim your light, shine it bright. Um, I can't believe they did it again. We we got more than thirty three minutes on the video. Why all of a sudden have they stopped interfering with the video? It's a bit strange. Maybe that's my small miracle. Comfort me nose again, God's sake.
<laughs> oh dear, sneeze on a Sunday. Oh, sneeze on a Sunday, see your lover tomorrow. That's not bad. Okay. See, we're not being positive at all, are we? There's issues with the hands, arms, shoulders, siblings, uh, mental health. So it's all negative. The rose, the honeysuckle and the passion flower. The name rose could be important. But um, it's negative thoughts and casting spells. I have to go sort my nose out. Sorry, wait a minute. Okay, so... Delays in travel. Something's going round and round in circles and it needs to be brought to a conclusion. Um, those born in the year of the snake could be important. Um, you're consuming, you're consumed by something and it's never ending. But there's the blue skies look. That's what we should be going towards. To make this an ending, a happy ending, with the victory wreath look instead of the snake. So, once we end this chapter, delays in travel, 21, um, door numbers, birthdays, etc. Somebody coming begging. So, if you receive any money, they'll be all there, lining up on the doorstep for their share. Um, it's about somebody wanting to take your stability or your wealth away. It's sometimes the kids come in and ask him for an help and I'm trying to get on that property ladder or whatever. Don't be giving people things just like that. There's got to be... Uh, it's got to be done the right way. Because these are the people that uh, plead poverty, get as much out of you as you can, and then promise to pay it back, never do but post all their foreign holidays on Facebook. So these are the ones that try to take what you have and make it theirs. So be very careful. This is, could be an inheritance. So it's very important. There we have Richard again, the Lord Mayor of London. Someone out of the blue, so it could be a new one, hopefully. Um, Dick. Um... Whittington and the cat, Leo, uh, sometimes the dog. Uh, but it's meaning that we're not afraid of the future anymore, or we shouldn't be. There's the unknown future, Pluto. But there's us facing it without fear, jumping off the cliff, making our wings on the way down. We are putting our boundaries in place. We are no longer in limbo hanging about waiting for other people to decide how our life is going to be. We are prepared to turn our lives upside down. We're not going to sacrifice our thoughts and feelings and worth for other people, ungrateful people anymore, and they're the ungrateful people. It's time to put your boundaries in place and say no. This, for some, could mean prison. Um, if you're in a certain country, especially ours at the minute, uh, you could be arrested for anything and put away. But you've got to stand in your beliefs. You can't be cowed by others. This is um, issues of the feet and toes. It is um, sacrifices that need to be made. Number 12. Pisces and Neptune, what we said, didn't we, till 2026. These are also the uh, fixed signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. They're, they're always the ones that want to move last because they're stubborn. They don't like change. But it's time to turn your world upside down. If there's something out of the blue to astonish you that's positive will happen in the next eight days. So, there will be separations possibly. Uh, children involved, communications the David Star, so the Jews can't be ignored, and communication, Mercury. Um, it is wrong for 
people to be segregated in this day and age um, of any race or religion. So it is time to make the right decisions because the wrong decisions have been made so far, 6 and 24. You need to release yourself from that mental prison you've made because those ropes aren't tied in knots that neither is that blindfold. You can undo it at any time. The only thing that was stopping you was fear of the future. And we haven't got that anymore. So stand up, rise up and walk into the future without fear. Believe. Start being positive. The negative is getting you nowhere, is it? The longer you sit and wonder and think negatively, the worse it will get. Time to get up. In some countries, that's a death sentence. So it may be that you've been... Uh, Given a reprieve. There it is, ready or not, the fairy godmother's going to chuck you off that cliff, even if you're not ready. Even if you are frightened of the future, you're going. So it's better to go under your own terms. Um, you're reaping what you sow, so you better make sure that what you sow is good. Don't do anything negative um, or say anything negative. Keep it positive. Don't compare yourself to others. Comparison is not your friend. Life is not a race. You'll get there in the end. There could be arguments there because of these delays or delays because of a maternal figure, mother's mother-in-law's mothers of your children. There could be some issue there that needs to be dealt with first. The uh, closure. There's no nothing can grow in barren lands. And again, they're talking about the terminations of contracts Pregnancies, uh, relationships, whatever it is. It needs to be terminated. It could also be the termination, uh, sorry, a loss of a child uh, in pregnancy. I do so, I'm very sorry. Patience will pay off. Be patient with these money grabbing people. Try not to. Uh, Give up. Home and family life. A new car. A new uh, team. You taking back control of your life. We've got concerts again. Uh, we've got rock stars. We've got music. Music be the food of love. Play on. Music is very important to spirit. It raises the vibration. Keep your music positive. Um... Don't be listening to melancholy songs. Uh, there could be uh, a wedding here. Somebody catches the bouquet, a white or silver cow. We've got the chauffeur again. They mentioned the chauffeur a lot, didn't they, in the past couple of days. Uh, Parker, Penelope, Thunderbirds, um, driver. 7 or 25, cancer energy. So any issues with the breasts or the stomach will be healed. It's taking back control of your life and following your true path. Travel. And there we are. We finally get going. We've finished this chapter now and we're going to move forward. 21. Travel to the object of your desire, be the person, things or events or the birth of a much wanted child when you've had several miscarriages uh, you're creating something new and it's beautiful but there is illness and bad temper there's this leo here um, it's the number 11 in this deck it's power struggles it's um, cowardice and if if you're not brave enough like i said you're going to end up being chucked off that cliff anyway so you need to find the courage from somewhere to do it on your terms it is issues with the heart and back. 
there's no moral high ground here nobody's got the moral high ground i don't care what they say nobody's right in this and there's no defending it too many which is a shame because that's unconditional Yep, moving on from storm waters to calm ones, travel perhaps across water, the betrayal, we're healing from the betrayal or the passing. It could be a passing um, in the near future. But uh, the swords are coming out, so enough is enough. Stick a fucking me, I'm done. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Ten weeks. So this is to make us strong. All this provocation, all this issues and what have you it's to make us stronger to make us see what we don't want so that we can put the boundaries in place and say hang on a minute not having that yeah friends are going to let you down um especially those in uniform of a darker complexion uh businessmen that lose everything the uh pot of gold is sadly depleted uh, the cuckoo in the nest we talked about that yesterday as well i think didn't we uh, somebody that doesn't belong was possibly once a friend but no longer and there it is again the 10 so it's a large sum of money that this is talking about uh, and money can make enemies of a lot of people yeah, finances will improve. Uh, we may have a benefactor. There's good friends and generous ones. But it's also a couple here, though. So the feminine is financially and emotionally stable. The masculine, however, has lost or feels like he's lost everything. Capricorn and Taurus, so the earth side. So you need to get grounded. Yep, coming out of that mental prison you've made for yourself. We've got that twice. No longer overthinking things. You're freeing yourself from the doubts and thoughts and fears of the future. Yeah. You don't want to stay stuck, do you, in stormy waters? We will be in stormy waters for about at least six weeks. Yeah. But it becomes too much of a heavy bed. And then once enough is enough, that's when it, everything blows apart. No more confusion, narrowing down your options or running out of options. And then when we come to that place where we can't take any more, we find our courage, we stand up, and we rise and come back from the gates of hell. So the sacrifices we've made um, have been noticed by spirit. They are telling you just to be patient and have courage. Don't let anything negative into your field, be it financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally or physically. Uh, don't accept any injections or whatever. Don't let anything come out of your mouth that's negative, written or spoken. This is the tarot of the psychic, the medium. This is uh, someone in a marriage made from hell and she would be if she was married to him. Um coming back she's being saved she's being rescued um, the romanes the travelers the carnival people the number 11 which you got it's 8 and 26 that one 11 that one 8 and 26 is positive 2 and 29 positive um, listening to spirit and understanding what they said because we may have been on our knees asking why did this have to happen? Why did this sacrifice be needed? But it's because you didn't act before. So if you're not careful, uh, you're going to regret not taking action when you needed to. So, bit grim, but hello. So we've got the hand of God, I think it's Yahweh, is it Yahweh? No?
Helgis, the chooser of the slain, so deciding who to heal and who to protect. So you've got to be on the, you've got to be just and true and stand in your integrity or you may not be one of the chosen. The crow and the stag. The letter Z, M and R. Um, it's the mighty elk and the yew tree. Let me say about the yew. It's Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper. Um, it is, however, associated with the lime tree and semi aquatic plants such as reeds and rushes. It's the outstretched hand, probably representing the hand of Tia, which remember was bitten off. There's the outstretched hand. Which was sacrificed, again that word, sacrifice, for the safety of the universe. So you have to sacrifice something or someone for the safety of the universe. It is the date of birth and death on a tombstone. So someone's grave, someone's funeral. Um, the shifting warrior women. These daughters of Odin. Um, so Wednesday and the father and the daughters. Protector of brave men in battle. So we are protected. Um, and also to choose the most suitable candidate for the father's throne after his death. Accomplished in magic, the Valkyrie often took the forms of carrion birds when carrying out their grim business. The footprints of these birds may be the origin, the origin of the shape of this rune. The brooding watchman of the gods, Heimdall, is connected with Algus because he, in his forms, as a beacon or a watchtower, Yes, so the watchtower, somebody's watching over us in that watchtower. Where's it gone? Can't find the bugger now. There's a three of one somewhere. Um, Heimdall is also connected with Algis because he informed me the beacon or watchtower. Is illuminated, illuminated, illuminated. Algus is a supreme rune for healing and protection. In ancient magic, it was said that the power of Algus could protect not only oneself but one's family and friends too. Bear that in mind. The appearance of Algus in a reading suggests that there will be a successful outcome to this endeavor, that a health problem will be overcome. And that help will be given to you by a very caring friend. There's the caring friend. Although this is a rune of self-interest, it does not denote selfishness. Its main message is that you should make time for yourself. Hold on to your dreams and desires. The demands of others should be secondary in consideration to yours. So don't give away money when you need it yourself. Don't give away love for others until you've loved yourself. Um, because if you don't look after yourself, there will be no one in a position to look after anyone in the future. Any creative ventures are favoured by the appearance of algae, and you may take up a new and therapeutic hobby, delving to fascinating areas that have previously escaped your notice. Algis is also a rune of meditation. Surrounding runes may point to a way of personal illumination of some kind. So it's time to meditate. Um, this reinforces the message in the reverse. Uh, health problems will occur very soon, if if not now, very soon. And then you need to concern yourself with your own welfare. However, other people may refuse to recognise that you are overburdened and weary and that demands of the folk uh, will not cease because they're selfish. You will find that those around you are very sensitive, insensitive indeed, while in this low state you will be somewhat weak-willed and tend to agree to anything. To people, please, we don't need that. Go into retreat, seclusion, 
and don't take anything more just yet because you're overburdened already. Signals a period of recuperation so allow yourself time to regain your strength and that's what we need because we, we, we're getting it, we will get strong again but we've got to uh, nurture ourselves in the process. So wishes and dreams can come true in the future even if it is unknown. 11th house of Aquarius, um, it's arenas, concerts like we said, uh, get togethers, it's the legs and ankles, social and tribal gatherings, the workplace, the colour deep yellow, uh, group activities, society, friends, hopes, wishes, aspirations and a social consciousness. Uh, and it is unknown because due to its long orbit, making these placements irrelevant, Pluto in Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius and Pisces are as yet unknown. We've never been there. We don't know what's going to happen because we have choices to make. Uh, it's an explosive influence. Pluto is the higher vibration of the warrior Mars, signifying universal aggression rather than its exp expression on a personal level. Although its devious aspects is often hidden, Pluto has the same dynamic charge as Mars and occasionally brings things bursting volcanically to the surface. Pluto can have this effect both on the generation who were born within the planet in their sign and everyone who lives through the Plutonian period. So, your soul crosses matter. Uh, the unconscious mind, the f experiencing the fire of transformation. Power abuse, birth, death, rebirth, regeneration, elimination, taboo, pollution, transmutation, subversion, obsessions, compulsions, the unconscious mind, decay, dictators, orgasms, religious conversions, and psychoanalysis. So there you go. Play with your mind. Venus, all that matters is love. That's what spirit tell you. So love yourself first and then love others in return. Number four. Venus emerald jeans. Oh no, these are with a ponytail. Blue skies. And Venus. The Empress. And we've got her in the reverse. She's not a happy bunny, is she? Love is my religion. And it's the only thing to die for. The name John. And the poet John Keats. Uh, you have to let love take care of it for now. Venus is the morning star. So the morning star was uh, also Lucifer. The brightest of the planets. It's the planet of beauty and balance. And it's named after a goddess of love and romance which is the planet's rules. In Scandinavian lands, the equivalent of the Roman goddess Venus was Freya. Among the Greeks, she was Aphrodite. Venereal disease is associated with Venus. After all, she charms and seduces. She was once associated with Lucifer, who was not a demon, but an angel of light who fell to earth from the heavens. Yeah, Lucifer gets a bad rap. Not the same as satanic whatnots. It's uh, totally different. In reality, the part of astrological chart Venus rules is where we want the good life and we desire ease and comfort. And that's the problem. Sticking in that comfort zone. It's ruled by Libra and Taurus, but the energies function differently. In Libra, Venus works best in the field of beauty, social balance and romantic love. While in Taurus, Venus stands for creature comforts and accumulated fineries. And that's what we're talking about. Uh, We've got Neptune here though, so love, romance and art are her domain. She does not get lost in them or lose her practical side. Uh, it's the planet of fashion, luxuries, balance, symmetry, artistic ability, sugary food, so diabetes. And she prefers to overlook the ugliness of the world. That's no good because she's sticking your head in the sand. Buying objects that are beautiful but unnecessary. It rules money, especially money shared in partnerships or marriages. 
uh, art, hair salons, restaurants, dance recitals, craft shows. Uh, Venus is the most humane and fair of the planets. So you may be asked or feel compelled to settle a dispute. Yes, courts, law and judgment may factor in. But more than this, the card indicates a new love coming into your life. The improvement or a new start of an older love relationship. So when the Venus card presents itself in a reading, the first thing to focus on is romance and love. And after that, creativity and refinement. You can be assured that you are found very attractive at this present time. I doubt it because I'm snotty. Um, maybe the subject of some advances. If so, romance becomes playful, even childlike. It is time for full heart blessings. If a relationship begins, it will have more a sense of contentment and happiness to it. Unless the Saturn card comes up in the spread, uh, and it, then it could be cold or restrictive. Venus is the planet of charmers. So you want to pour the charm in a situation. There's a tendency to become more socially engaging. Yes, at this time, people will generally be sweeter, more helpful and amenable. It's a good period to smooth ruffled feathers or make peace with others. Use your diplomacy. This will serve you best. So again, the 3 and 30. Why do they have to wait till I get on camera? I have no idea. So again, the mother. We've got mother three times. Uh, Gwyn, Gwen, uh, the number five. Let's have a look. So, the Trinity knot in the circle is a symbol which represents the maiden, the mother, and the crown. Past, present, and future, the three life cycles of women. Good is the mother and the present. The mother is happy with her little fairy sprites. No, she isn't because she's upside down. Uh, and it's about nurturing. It's an aspect that one can give to others, but one must also give to oneself. There we go, so you're not looking after yourselves. We forget to put ourselves on a priority list. We hear too often that you cannot drink from an empty cup. Caregivers must drink from that cup first in order to be of benefit to others. Gwyneth may be asking you to look at where you are not nurturing yourself or being nurtured in your life. Are you living the life you wish? Probably not. Does anyone in your life give back to you and support you in your time of need? Probably not. And are you tired, overwhelmed, stressed or giving too much of yourself? It may be time to give back to yourself. The elementals know that this, is, this reality is time poor as we fit far too much into our days. So they ask us to take small steps to look after ourselves. Read that book you have been next you've had next to your bed. Go for a bushwalk, have a cup of tea outside without taking your phone. Goodness messages also want to be present. Slow down, stop thinking too far ahead. Be present with yourself, your loved ones and life itself. It starts with integrating the small things. And once it becomes a habit, you will find you start increasing these small gestures. I feel much calmer and more peaceful for it. Brilliant. Well, you do know that uh, I have warned you, aren't I? That uh, about the 14th that I'm going away, I will take some cards with me and I will try and do some reads, but I'm not promising anything because it's uh, Scotland, so I don't know what the reception will be like. Yeah, so what you give out is what you get back. That's what I started with in the first place. 44. And we've got four there, so... 444, 4, 44, the number 4 is massively important. Mirrors, what you, what you give out is what you get back. You are seeing something now in your life that you have been through before. And how you reacted before should be able to tell you how to react now. Because if you reacted a certain way last time and it didn't work, then you must react a different way this time. Uh, the Lady of the Mirror is asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events of your life. She represents the powerful force of the law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you retract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you find yourself the victim of a big picture event, say a war. This is a distorted interpretation of the law. Certain events are fated to test us and our faith, to make us what we are, to show our mettle. 
Rather find yourself within the web woven through your life, your relationships, the opportunities, the desires, the seeming failures, the successes, the losses that we suffer. Observe how you responded to these challenges, great and small. And be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment of yourself and accept things as they are with love. The Lady of the Mirror asks that you honour every part of your story because it was essential for your highest unfolding. You need to see yourself as being exactly where you are. You need to be, sorry. Do you love what you see in the mirror? If not, change it. Can you perceive your part in your reactions and the motives behind the current inquiry? So how you could have done things differently. You will find your your answers in a thorough and honest self-appraisal. And there it is, courageous intent. We have to have the courage the backbone and the will. Yeah? So, courageous intent. I can't believe we're still going. We're still going. I don't say anything. I'm going to drink my set. So, courage is not limited to bold and daring acts. In, fa in fact, the most elusive courage is found within our very selves. It's the ability to dig deep and not only find but listen to our own inner wisdom. Now the next step is to trust and act accordingly. This is a true test of blind faith and it's what courage intent is all about. You are surrounded by hurt and frustration. It's like there is a war raging all around you and you have no idea where to go next. In the midst of the battle you have become accustomed to taking instructions and doing as you're told, even when it's against your better judgment. As a result, you have disconnected from your inner voice and you used to depend upon it. You used to be really good at listening to your inner wisdom, but lately you've lost the confidence. And when you do listen, you doubt the message. Get back to trusting your feelings. You will feel better for it and it will always hold you in good stead. Trust in yourself again, because this is one situation where you are definitely right. So stand up for what's right. Well done, Spirit. Thanks for letting us get all the way through. Uh, thanks for listening. Speak soon. Bye.